Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to take a look at Toronto's real estate 2021. Some serious news come to, came to the market, so let me show you. Uh, first of all, head to urbanrealtytoronto.com, my main site, where you can find a lot of information and links about new properties, resale, reduced assignments, everything you want. Okay. To find these, just go to the Deals tab here, Platinum, Assignment, Investment, go to the For Sale, go to the links, and you'll find a lot of information. So let's jump right into it. Uh, and I want to show you here what happened in the market. Let's maybe start with the graphics. February 20th, okay, last year, uh, we had 7,200 sales, okay? This is before we, before we got hit with the, you know what? And February 21, 21st, the month that just ended, we have almost doubled those sales, okay? Uh, almost 11,000 sales. That's unbelievable. Uh, Similarly adjusted, you can see here that we're doing much, much better and, and the numbers of transactions are growing. Now, what I know from my own uh, work and what I hear from realtors, colleagues of mine, is that it's really, really hard to find good units, especially with the condos. Now, you got to ask yourself, how come it's hard with the condos? I mean, there's so many condos, right? Well, it's true, but a lot of people are buying condos because they do not want to put the money in the financial system because they fear that maybe they get locked out, blocked, reduced, whatever it is. Also, a lot of people that are immigrants from the old world, they need a place to live, they need a place for their kids. And like myself, coming from the old world, we're always taught and used and learned that property is real. That's why it's called real estate. I own it. It's, it's a hard asset, physically a hard asset. And it's good for me. Now, a lot of these properties not necessarily going to break even on the on a classic 80-20 because the dollar per foot is very high and the rents right now temporarily are lower. Now, I expect this to um, even out, but next year or so, maybe even sooner, it really depends what our government does. Nonetheless, you can see that these numbers are going off the hook. Now, if you look here at the average selling price, okay, and this is, this is average of averages. Um, so you've really got to dive deeper if you want to get the certain area that you want to you wanna go for. But just, just to understand, because that represents everyone together, uh, $910,000 in February uh, 20th. This is your average selling price from TREB, from the 416905. And here we are over the million dollar, million fifty almost. So we got about $135,000 more per for the same unit. That is a lot. That's a 15% increase, okay? And seemingly adjusted, it may be not that high, but it's still, you can see, it's about 2.3% increase. So you understand the market is pushing through. And the reason the market is pushing through, because as fast as we build, we still have a lot of people coming to Canada. It's going to be, maybe not right now, but it's it's going to return to something like 400,000 immigrants a year. That's a lot, okay? And soon we'll see every two years, there'll be a million new people in Canada and they need place to live, okay? plus all the students and the natural birth and all that. And you can see uh, the good news is we have a lot more listings. So pe people are starting to trade, okay? Uh, but the new listing, uh, sales to new listing ratio is more or less the same because properties that come on the market are being taken, okay? So you, you, can, you can look at this as much as you want here. And this slide here gives you the historic, it's from the same TREB. And you can see here that 2021 is breaking all average uh, sale prices. It's also down here, 2019 average was 819 and 2020 was 926 and now we're well over a million. Okay, uh, a couple more information for you, a piece of information I'm done for today. TorontoCondorsForSale.com, that is my site that will give you all the updates. So you can come here, generate yourself a free account and start tracking condos or new construction or resale. And the way you do it, you go to the menu and then you go right now just the, the default the main site uh, will show you the resale but if you go to pre-con okay and then you go to pre-con list what you're gonna get i have it open here but okay uh it's pre-construction condos real estate and that's page one and that is automatically generated by the company um, and you can see here what comes in and you can click on any of these and request more information and that is a really good tool to know what is coming down okay um to summarize, my friends, things are going real fast, okay? Uh, they're really moving quickly. I got some exclusive listings I'm going to put up soon. I'm going to make a video about those, so stay tuned to my channel. In the meantime, have a great day. Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate. Thank you very much.